Hello, it's Laura, and today I am sharing a look into how I am setting up my 2018 bullet journal. I am going to be using this bullet journal to keep track of my one little word throughout the year and the progress I make on that word. And that includes writing down my annual goals, writing down my monthly goals, and then writing down a post-monthly check-in on how I did with my goals and my one little word each month. So I am really excited. I've got this cute notebook that I've had in my stash. It is from Shop Bandeau and it has lined pages in it. So I cover up a lot of the lined pages with just regular computer paper because I like how seamless just plain white paper looks. So you'll see throughout the year that some of these pages will be plain white and then others I'll leave the regular lined paper visible. So after my title page that says 2018, I am getting started on my one little word page. And on this page, I am writing my one little word very large on the right hand side going up the side of the sheet of paper. And my one little word for the year is visionary. And I had printed out the word visionary in these blocked letters and I cut them out and I use that as a guide to hand draw letters that were slightly larger than that. And the reason I did this is because I'm going to end up cutting out those letters and then backing that paper with this cute floral pattern that I'm drawing. And I really love how this ends up looking. You can see that I'm not going for perfection at all. All of my flowers are pretty messy. I am not super experienced at this. I started drawing some flowers on my class notes last semester, and I love how it looks in that notebook. So I decided that I wanted to do a lot of those hand-drawn floral elements in this notebook too. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just try to fill up the whole space of that sheet of paper that I am doing the floral print on. That way I can back the visionary word with this patterned paper that I'm making. One of the best tips I have for hand drawing flowers is to just get on your phone or get on Google and look up wildflower drawings and that will give you some ideas for easy flower shapes that you can draw. After I am done filling up that little sheet of paper with all the hand-drawn florals, I am cutting out those words now using my cutting tool and a rubber mat. And I love this technique because it gives this page an art journal feel. And I love for my bullet journal to be really interesting and visually appealing to me. And while some people really gravitate towards simple and I often do as well, I love when you can mix cool techniques with the simplicity throughout your notebook. So that way things are always looking interesting and appealing. So you can see after I cut out all those letters, I have glued that floral paper that I had drawn onto the back of that piece of paper. And then I have this picture of myself that I am taping down to the page. And I'm also going to use some black and white washi tape to embellish that a little bit. And then I end up drawing a little border around my photograph with a pen. I love drawing frames around my photos. It is a design element that I have been doing for a few years now since seeing Ellie Edward do it. And I do it in a lot of my traveler's notebook spreads and in my art journaling and scrapbooking. So it's just a really cool touch that makes the photo pop a little more. And then I also draw these cute little messy flowers on two spots around my frame. I am sorry if my voice seems a little odd today, a little raspy. I seem to be losing my voice. So throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to try to tone it down and not be so energetic when I talk because that seems to strain it a little more. 
So after I draw that frame around my photo, I grab this pink highlighter that puts little stars down onto the page and I put a few stars sprinkled around my page and I love that because my word this year is visionary and the pop of color just gives an extra visual element of kind of seeing into the future. I don't know. I really love all that universe, galaxy, relate to your inner goddess type of stuff. So these two pages, I am going to fill up with journaling all about my one little word this year. You can see in a bolder font, I have written out the textbook definition for my one little word. And then in a regular pen, I am writing all around the rest of the page about my intentions this year for my one little word, why I chose this word, and how I want to see this word played out and how it will relate to my progress and my goals throughout the year. So it's a very intentional page to get focused on what I want my purpose this year to be and how I want my goals to be centered around that idea. And now I am moving on to writing my list of annual goals. I thought about lining this spread with white computer paper as well, but I actually loved that floral pattern peeking through from where I backed the cutouts on the last page. So I stick down a sticker on top of it that says anything is possible. And then I get started doing all of my bullet journaling for this page. I do my title in a bold marker. It's very imperfect, you can tell. I'm not too worried about perfection at all. It's all about getting it written down and in one place so all of my ideas and goals are documented and I can keep good progress of them. I'm not so much worried about perfection. And the same with the floral elements drawn on this page again too. They're not perfect, but they're pretty and they add a little touch. So I'm just going through and I'm writing down all of my categorical goals and then all the sub goals that fall under each category. And each of those relates to my one little word, which is visionary and having a vision for the future and how the future can be better. And so all of my goals are part of making that one little word come to life in some way in my life. So I finish off this page with a little bit of washi on the side to bring some more visual interest over to the other side of the page since I have the sticker and the backing of that floral paper on the left hand side. And here is a little flip through and some detail shots of my final page. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more bullet journaling stuff throughout the year, as well as my goals and all the memory keeping and fun DIY projects that I do on my channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.